welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. decide what color shirt I wanted to wear. Normally when that happens, I'll just go with my favorite color to wear, which is black. But today, I thought it would be cool if you guys could help me choose a different color. Some other colors that I found were red, yellow, blue, or pink. What do you think? What color should I wear? Talking about colors made me really think about all the different colors that we see in the world. Everything around us is colorful. Color is used to represent many different things that we use in our everyday life. For example, at a stoplight, red means stop, yellow means to slow down, and green means go. If you see flashing red lights, you know that's either an ambulance or a fire truck. So today, I want us to explore all things color. Are you ready? Let's go! The first colorful object that we're gonna talk about actually has many colors. It's the rainbow. A rainbow is an arc filled with colors that forms in the sky when the sun shines through the rain. And in many cultures, rainbows can be used as a symbol for peace, love, and harmony. Can you name the colors of the rainbow? Some of the colors that you will find in the rainbow are red, orange, green, blue, yellow, and purple. You know, there's actually a song called the Rainbow Song which tells us about the colors in the rainbow. You wanna sing it with me? Great, let's sing the Rainbow Song. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your eyes, listen with your ears, and sing everything you see. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Flowers are bright and vibrant and can always make you happy. They come in all sorts of colors. What color flower is your favorite? Many places around the world have flowers that are different colors. For example, in China, there's the jasmine flower, which is white. In Texas, we have the blue bonnet, which is blue. In Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, there is the cherry blossom, which is pink. And in the Virgin Islands, there's a yellow cedar, which is yellow. Let's sing a song about our favorite colors to help me decide which one I should choose. My favorite color's red. I like red. I like red. My favorite color's red. I like red. I like red. Colors, colors, what's your favorite color? Colors, colors, what's your favorite color? Pink! My favorite color is pink. I like pink. I like pink. My favorite color is pink. I like pink. I like pink. Colors, colors, what's your favorite color? Colors, colors, what's your favorite color? 
Yellow, my favorite color is yellow. I like yellow. I like yellow. My favorite color is yellow. I like yellow. I like yellow. Colors, colors. What's your favorite color? Colors, colors. What's your favorite color? Blue. My favorite color is blue. I like blue. I like blue. My favorite color is blue. I like blue. I like blue. Colors, colors, what's your favorite color? Colors, colors, what's your favorite color? Did you know that some of your favorite colors are actually made by mixing two or more colors together? The colors that are mixed together are called primary colors. And once they are actually mixed together, the new color is called a secondary color. Let's go over to our friend Miss Ashford's house so that she can show us how to make new and different colors. Everybody say hi, Miss Ashford. Hi friends, it's Miss Ashford. And today I'm going to teach you boys and girls how to mix colors by using primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. So the materials that you will need, clean water, a paintbrush, a spoon, napkins, and you'll need at least three clear cups or three glass cups. I put water in mine so that way it can make the color a little bit more vibrant so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our red and we're going to put a couple of drops in there. So one, two, well, mine's went three because it's still dripping, but that's okay. And then we're going to do our yellow, a couple of drops. And then we're going to do blue. All right, now we are going to make sure our paintbrush is a little wet there. I'm gonna dry it off. Always remember, paint to rinse dry. Now we're going to mix the red the water so that way you guys can see it. And we're gonna take our paintbrush and put it in the clear water so that way we can clean our brush. And there you are, you have red. And we're going to mix the yellow with the water. All right. And now we have yellow, wow. Next, we're going to mix the blue. All right, so now we have our primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. Now we're going to move our primary colors over to our secondary colors. So, we're gonna have red here, yellow here, blue here, all right? So, we're going to put a little bit of yellow paint in here because this color red and yellow is going to make orange all right mix 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 wow do you see that <gasps> it's orange look friends we have the color orange. Next, we are going to make the color green. So we're going to add the color blue because blue and yellow makes green. All right, let's take our brush, clean it off. Mix, mix, mix. <gasps> wow. that guys how cool is that we have the color green next we are going to take the color red because red and blue makes purple or violet
All right, clean our brush off. Mix, mix, mix. Keep mixing. And now we have the color purple. I'm also going to make the color pink. I don't have any white paint, unfortunately, but I do have milk. So I'm going to take some milk. I'm going to pour a bit inside of the water here. And then I'm going to take the color red and mix it together. Mix, mix, mix. And now we have the color pink. So we have made our secondary colors, which are orange, green, purple, and pink. So friends, I hope you enjoy making your secondary colors. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, my friends, thank you for helping me decide which color shirt to wear today. We sure did learn a lot together today, didn't we? First, we learned about what a rainbow is and the different colors of the rainbow. Then we learned about the colors of the national flowers for different places. We later went to visit our friend, Miss Ashford, and she showed us how to mix secondary colors by mixing primary colors. So tell me, what are the primary colors? Red, yellow, and blue. Great job. Tell me, what is the national flower of the Virgin Islands? The yellow cedar, excellent job. It's sometimes called the ginger tamas as well. What about the national flower of Texas? The blue bonnet, wonderful. Thank you for joining us today. Remember to always find music in the noise, to love yourself and I love you. See you next time at Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Bye!